Association cases. Somebody say association cases. Association cases. No, say louder, say louder, say louder. Association, association or associative. These cases of associative come because one, it can be marriage. All right? If <laughs> you ready for this? Yes, are you ready for this? Yes, we are ready. All right. They can happen through marriage, through sex, through a friend that you love so much, or she's my best friend, or he is my friend. Actually, they're not in the Old Testament, these ones. They are even found in the New Testament. Because we have people who think, oh, in the New Testament, that will never happen. Wow. Now, I want us to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. What does the scripture say? The scripture say, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Well, why? For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? The word communion there is very important. Go ahead. And what accord has crossed with Baal? Or what part has a believer with an believer? Did you hear that? Yes. And what agreement? The word agreement there in English, it looks so simple. But when you check in Hebrew, the word agreement there, or in, in Greek, the word agreement there, it is a contract. So there are people you associate yourself with and a demonic contract can be made. Am I talking to somebody? Right? Yes, you must be very careful. Associative. You can actually associate yourself with someone who is cursed. And then you find yourself in trouble. That's why the Bible says it. This is New Testament. You are being warned in the New Testament. You are being warned. Come on. Go back in the same scripture. What agreement? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Now, I want to read it for you. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 16. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body with her? For the two, he says, shall become what? One flesh. One flesh. Now, go back on the same scripture. Give me NIV. And I'm going to check message. And I want you to see something here. Do you not know that he who unites himself with a prostitute is one with her in body? Did you hear that statement? Yes. For it is said the two will become one flesh. In the message translation, there is more to sex than mere skin on skin. Sex is much spiritual mystery as a physical fact. As written in scripture, the two become one. You will be shocked on the last day when God will bring you a lot of wives. <laughs> and yet in the natural, you are not married. Like, Abba, I'm not married. Like, where's your wife? Like, oh, these are you. Like. <laughs> Do you understand? That? So what does that mean? It says you become one. Can you imagine you sleep with somebody and there's a case in their family to be broke? And you become one. And you know, in church, oh, shut up, Baba, every case be broken. Shut up. 
There is an association somewhere. These cases come because of association. That's why we bless you when you're getting married. Why? Because there could be cases where you're coming from. So, okay. Oh. I'm not right? yes, yes. So when you are being blessed when you are getting married, the blessing must counter. It is to counter every case. The two of you are coming together. You might have come with a case. She's coming with a case. You get blessed. This blessing is to remove any case that was there. So when they pronounce a blessing, Okay, that is baraka, benediction, baraka, to announce a blessing over your union. Because there is, there is, there is an ability that you might be having cases. So, associative cases, how do they come? Your friends. Okay. I heard someone say, no, he's just my friend. Is he born again? Ah, no, 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 no. He's not born again. Oh, wow. People are so desperate for marriage that they can actually marry anyone. They don't even care. So that after two years, you should be giving the whole prophet headache. Please pray for him. He must change. Ah, you, when you were going there, were you bright? No, 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 I was seeing. But I thought God would change him. You thought? I thought I would eventually change him because I was, if God couldn't change him, you think you can change him? Associative cases. These cases come through association. Some of you, you, are, you associate yourself with darkness. You associate yourself with the people who lie too much. Do you understand what made King so get cursed? When God actually said, you are now cursed. He associated himself with a king who God said kill him. Oh, am I talking to you? Yes, yes. God said, ah, you even bring him to Israel. God said, don't bring him to Israel. He said, everything must be killed. His name was called Agag. And he associates himself. God said, now you are doomed. So there are curses, associative curses. You might associate yourself with a certain people and you're wondering why your life is like that. Nothing is changing. Your life is not moving. Check yourself. Who are you associating yourself with? We break these cases in the name of Jesus. I pray that the blessing will rest upon your children. Days of sicknesses are over. Days of struggling are over. Days of suffering are over. Days of sweating are over. Days of stagnation are over. We remove every case working against them. Whatever case working against you today, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I stand against every case working against you. Wherever you are right now, I announce a blessing in the name of Jesus. May a blessing overtake you now. May the blessing of the Lord overtake you now. In the name of Jesus.